I'm in the shop today, kind of tying up some loose ends on the goose. As with every project you do, no matter how meticulous you try to be with the wiring and some of the fabrication and the way that the project goes together, never fails. You kind of have to add something along the way that you didn't really plan for. And it causes an issue with um, it not looking quite like you wanted it to look. So with wiring in particular, a lot of times you think you have all the wiring planned out, but as you go through the project, you have to add this, add that, tie a couple more things in, and it's just not just not the way that you want it. So what I usually do is I'll use um, zip ties that can be undone, kind of zip tie everything up, and then once everything's kind of pretty much connected the way that it needs to be, the stuff that needs to be cleaned up, I can go back in at the end and either consolidate wire or re-zip tie, shorten, lengthen, whatever it is. Also, I was able to get the goose out a little bit yesterday, kick around town. Um, I mean, if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. So yeah, so that's what I'm working on today. But I've got a little, well you might have seen it in the title of the video, I've got a little something I want to show you. So if you watch the channel on a regular basis, you're probably very familiar with Shark Hide. I've done a bunch of videos on it. Just did one recently where I'm coating these tungsten holders that I'm giving away, by the way. Gave away, I already gave them away. They gotta ship out sometime today, tomorrow. Uh, I've got one quart of this stuff myself and it lasts forever. It takes very, very little Shark Hide to protect whatever it is you wanna protect. I've actually got some on this table keep it from rusting and I think the quart that I've got is about half full so anyway had a company contact me and basically offer me some free shark hide and you guys a discount 5% off shark hide on their website so I was like I mean I like free stuff I like to give discounts it's perfect perfect win-win right I also did some shark hide videos uh, on some other stuff in the past. I've actually done this as a Friday full video. Uh, this is one of those things, one of many things that Jeb turned me on to. Stuff's awesome. I love it. Works awesome. Doesn't yellow. Stays clear. Actually like soaks into the metal so it's not like a top coat protectant. Like the metal like absorbs it. Minimal abrasion won't even affect it because it kind of soaks into the metal and will never yellow. Stuff's made for like pontoons is what it's made for or made for aluminum, but I think there's a lot of uses in the fabrication field, especially if you like stuff bare metal. If you like the patina look and there's some of your patina that has some bare metal showing through, you don't really want to clear it. You could put some of this on there. It's going to protect that metal. It's not gonna let it get any worse than what it already is. Uh, really, you could do the whole vehicle in this stuff. So anyway, like I said, I think this is a secret that is very unknown in the automotive world, at least that I know of. And I've actually been told you can weld through this stuff too, so when you start applying some heat to it, 
you can actually see the shark hide itself burn back. You can weld, it won't affect the weld. When you're done, you kind of give a little scuff, more shark hide over it, you're good to go. So anyway, I don't want this to be a commercial about shark hide. I wanted to let you guys know about the discount. I'll put a link in the description, you can go check it out. And uh, yeah. Even says right there, will never peel, chip, crack, flake, or yellow. It's a pretty bold statement. Um, if you were looking at picking up some of this stuff, but you didn't, maybe 5% off will entice you to go buy it or help you out. I'm trying. I'm trying to help you guys. I'm trying to help you guys any way I can. So there you go. A little discount. You're welcome.